So today we're going to set up the snow foam short trigger gun. First off, let's open it up. You'll have the short trigger gun, the five colored nozzles, a bag of the connectors, and the plumber's tape. So from this bag, you'll find three silver adapters and one gold adapter. Let's start off with the gold adapter. We're just gonna wrap the thread around about five times. Make sure nothing's covering up that hole, and if there is, just move it to the side. Now, we're going to put this little gold piece at the end, at the top, just like that. And if we have a spanner, we can tighten that to make sure there's no leakages. Now, we're going to look at the M22 adapter. We've got two of them that look very similar, but they're actually uh, two different widths. So one has a slightly thicker wall than the other. Uh, if we have a gurney or a Kasha adapter, uh, we're going to tend to use the 14 millimeter. And with the 15, you're more likely to use it with an M22 pressure washer like a Ryobi. Um, but for today, we're going to go with the thicker wall. Again, we're going to wrap this with plumber's tape on both sides. Now this piece will just screw onto the bottom here. You want to try and hold onto this because this piece here does swivel. So we'll get that on nice and tight. Now if you are using a Kasha or a Gurney, we do give you an adapter. The adapter will come in a cube box like this, and the adapter will look like this. So very simply, we screw this on to the bottom there. Okay, so now you're ready to put the hose of your pressure washer into here, and you're ready to put the nozzles on to the end here. So for car washing, we tend to avoid the black nozzle as this is more of a uh, soap nozzle. And the red one is a zero degree, so it shoots out like a jet, not really suitable for the car. But the orange, the green, and the white is what we tend to use for car washing. Just one thing to note, you want to pull back this gold section and then slide on the adapter. And then you want to just make sure it's not going anywhere. So shoot the ground first so that this doesn't fly off and hit your car. And then if you do ever need to, you can flip this guy back so that there's a lock. So if you have any kids around, you don't want them to be playing with it, there's now a lock. So that's the short trigger gun. You can now put on a snow foam lance at the end here. You'll just need the quarter inch quick connect. So that's this little adapter here. And so if you're using one of our snow foam lances and you have an existing pressure washer adapter on it, like a Kasha or a Gurney, you'll just need to switch out that adapter um, in place for this one here. And that will then just go on to the end like that. Enjoy. I'm not afraid to